How do we find CloudStar? Uh, I did a reconnaissance trip back in December 2013 where I jumped on a tour that visited, uh, was it, <coughs> excuse me, we visited 20 BPOs over a three day period and uh, various B BPOs doing various different things as in different cultures and different sizes. Some were very small, some were very large, some were big corporates, some were privately owned and basically we found CloudStar on that trip and, um, and came back and saw them again on, on the back end of that trip for, for a secondary meeting. Uh, the reason we came back to the second meeting was, was probably just to validate why, we're, why we want to deal with CloudStar because we, we pinned it down to two different BPOs. One was based in Manila, one was obviously CloudStar based, uh, or this office is based in Angeles. Uh, I had some concerns about Manila and those concerns were flooding, electricity issues, and also the um, many people that work in Manila, it's my understanding, go to Manila because as a career, uh, but then go back to the provinces. Whereas Angeles is more sort of in the provinces, and so people work here as a lifestyle choice, and also there's a good supply of, of, of um, yeah, candidates here because of the universities and the likes of that. And it's actually proved to work out really well. So we came back to Cloud Staff, was I just wanted to check on to make sure that the culture was the same as our culture in the office. I'd heard stories about um, high turnover of staff in BPOs, and I'd heard cloud staff was very low. But I mean, you know, words are only only part of it. You really wanted to actually, you know, get to know the CEO a little bit more, and also their account manager at the time, and um, just make sure we were going to the right place. And of course, how's it all working out? Uh, well, we're 18 months in. Uh, we've got seven on the team here. We started out with four, and um, they're a great team. I, I mean, we love the team dearly, and um, it's worked out really, really well. We've, we had the challenges at the front end, and those challenges were along the lines of our Canberra office were very concerned that they were going to be losing their jobs, uh, which is the contrary. Um, we've actually put more staff on in Canberra since we put the um, Angelese team on. And uh, look, it's worked out really, really well. It's forced us to be a lot more uh, systems process driven and so we've had to look at our systems what we do think that through because we're going to we're going to teach other people how to do what we do but it's the little things like um you know if if i said to someone in australia can you name all the, the banks in the philippines can you tell me all the postcodes in the philippines can you tell me all the provinces in the philippines every other australian would sort of have no idea well flip that over, come to the Philippines and say to, to your team over here, okay, I want you to know all the states in Australia, all the postcodes, area codes. Um, they don't know that. So you've got to teach all that. So that might start, start breaking things down thinking, um, I've got to think like them and, the, and, and where they're coming from so they can understand where we're coming from. So it made us really break down into bite-sized bits what we actually do with our business. And, and from that, we built, built some great training manuals and videos, which is, helped everybody on both sides of the, between the two offices.